I am an executive coach, and I work with uh, CEOs, presidents of companies, but really what I am is a change agent in the world, and I work with individuals who are really up to something. They not only want to build a business, but while they're doing that, they want to develop people, they want to invest in those people, so they want to cr create a great community, a great business, and a better world while they're doing it. That's my client. Is this a difficult time for your clients? Actually, I think they're gearing up. I think they're more excited than ever because these times are creating opportunities where people are hum more humble than they have been in the past and they're looking for new opportunities and they realize that they need to find different ways of, of creating their world. And so everybody's more vulnerable than ever and in this place of vulnerability, there's an opening for people to own their power at new levels. And so we're more excited than ever. It's like, yes, we've been waiting for just such a time because the truth about us as human beings is we have the ability to create no matter what happens. And that's what I do for a living is help people own their creativity because in that they find their sense of hope and power and possibility. When you say own their creativity, yeah. what does that mean? Well, you know, even if we look across time, you know, it, it, God, it, Genesis opens up with we're created in God's image. And the first thing God's doing is saying, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be, you know. So we're able to create no matter what's happening. And we are created in the image of God, which is creativity and our ability to, no matter what's happening, find our way and to do it from our essence, not from our ego. See, that's where we've been creating from the past, and that's what Radical Leadership, my program, is about. It's about a distinction between ego and essence. And ego is not bad or good, or essence not bad or good. They're both important parts of who we are. Ego helps us eat, drink, plant, pay the mortgage, get up in the morning, find our way in the doing side of the world. But essence is about our ability to love, to be passionate, to uh, be at peace, to create harmony and beauty and joy. And those are all the reasons we do things, but we've forgotten that. We're so busy doing, we forgot to remember why we're doing something. If I come to you as a client, what can I experience? Well, if you came to me as a client, I actually have a team of 10 people that I work with, and uh, and you would have to uh, an ability to select either individual coaching. I would encourage most that you attend Radical Leadership. We have three three-day retreats, so it's an extensive ongoing program with coaching in between, and that's the thing that's transforming lives. People step in there and begin to see who they are in ego, that they have personas and personalities and patterns that are actually keeping them from what they want. And in those courses, they find an opening to be who they want to be instead. Um, so we have teleclasses, uh, individual coaching, we have coaching programs for management teams. Our whole purpose is really to help people create awareness and responsibility, which is just another uh, term for awareness and choice, powerfully choosing their life. What's radical about it? What's radical about it is that, interestingly, the word radical means a return to fundamental, foundational, basic truths and principles. Extreme and drastic. And we think it's actually extreme and drastic to return to what w some would call our authentic selves, true selves, uh, our larger selves, bigger selves, whatever that word is, we refer to it as essence. It's our natural state of being. It's who we've forgotten we are. If more and more executives were to experience your philosophy, your kind of coaching and work, what would be the outcome for them? Well, the outcomes that we've already had, and I have trained uh, more than a thousand people have attended Radical Leadership, and some powerful organizations have been a yes to it. Uh, they would be finding um, their freedom, and here's what I mean by that. They actually find their freedom to choose in any moment and create a context for their lives, like the for the sake of what they're doing things. So for instance, when they go to work in the morning, it's no longer like I'm going to do my job and earn a living. That's the ego. I am going to my job and while I'm there, I'm gonna create deep relationships, 
intimacy, creativity, generate possibilities that didn't exist. So they actually find their jobs easier and more, uh, they're more creative in those jobs and they have more fun and they invite more of that back. In our course, ego calls forth ego and essence calls forth essence. So whatever you give out is what you're gonna get back. And when they step into a work environment from essence, miracles begin to happen. And marriages have been sta saved and restored, people who are ready to walk out of their marriages. Relationships with kids, uh, college kids, young kids have been restored when they weren't talking. All of a sudden, they have deep respect and listen at new levels. Um, oh my gosh, I, even on the way here, I ran into somebody at the airport that said, meet my wife, you have transformed, transformed our marriage. You know, And that's like a common occurrence. How about success in business? Absolutely, absolutely. More gets done faster with more uh, generative energy and um, the bottom line result. So how does this play out in terms of return on investment? So bottom line for organizations, what they get are happier employees who are more productive, who are more creative, who are more responsible. And those employees actually are contagious and more employees invite more creativity and more of the same response. As well, there's less sick time, there's more productivity, there's, people will choose into their company and their job at a new level or they'll choose out. There's no confusion about what people are up to once they take radical leadership. They're more committed or they're going somewhere else. Is there financial success as a result of this? In terms of? Profit. Absolutely. Absolutely, because all of those things generate more bottom line results for the organization. Human resources are the greatest possibility we have. One of the things that we have discovered in radical leadership, and it's actually the biggest thing we speak to, is that um, the trickster, which is that voice in our head that is constantly yakking away, telling us we're not enough, we're not doing things fast enough, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, why don't we get our act together, you know, we're not dressed right. When I ask people how often that voice is running out of 14,000 thoughts a day, because we, you know, I read somewhere we have 14,000 thoughts a day, their average response is to say it's running 95 to 98 percent. Now we're finding the freedom from that, and the question is, well then what's the other 5% or 2% as the case may be? And in there is the possibility that hasn't been realized in a whole realm of creativity that has not been tapped into.